does your trade size matter? Look at these trades. Look, this is on the Morgex exchange. 58%. $2. It's a dust trade. Look at this one. 82%. 63 cents. Trade size. Now, look at this one. 18% only. There's a 9% fee. Okay? To borrow 75 times my money. They don't even know my name. This is profitable. Okay? Hold on. So what I want you to look again. 20%. Up $4,500 on Fibit. Now I had to put serious money in this trade. $22,000. But I'm going to close it. Now, let's see. We had um, 68000 Now we have $70,000. Let's come here over to the market exchange. Yeah. This is called being a percentage warrior. These are useless. You would have made so much money at 114% short if you had sized it properly. Look, my friends, $4,500, a 19% gain is much, much easier to get, okay, than 114% gain. And what a shame that you were afraid. It's the best message I can give you. Now, how do you size your wallet? It's going to go up and down and vacillate a lot. You need to be, to find a price, a number that... You're okay if you lost it, but it's not so little that you're going to be wrapped up in dust. Who in the world wants a 107% gain to make a dollar ninety-one? Unless that's like minimum wage in Cambodia. So how do you find that spot, that sweet spot? It's got to be enough to make a difference got to add to your wallet okay and the truth is it's much harder to make money when you trade really small it's a hell of a lot easier to get a small gain over fees with bigger money and walk away like that than it is to make any real money like this tell me what you think in the comments all these videos or uh, exchanges are linked below. Click show more.